Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll take a look around the garden after the first real snowfall of the winter. Let's get into it. Well, it's almost the middle of March and we've got our first real snowfall here in West Yorkshire in the Great Northern Exotic Garden. Um, late snowfalls are worse than early snowfalls, of course, because the garden's already started to wake up in March. Things have started to grow and all of that new growth will get frosted off if we're not careful. You know, here's an example, look, of the Persicaria red dragon. This is all the last year's foliage, but underneath, you can see in there, we've got new, uh, this year's growth. And obviously it'll come back, but it's always nice to get a head start. Cord lines. Again, I've tied this one up and what we don't want is it to weigh down. So there's two schools of thought in terms of uh, what you do with snow on things like palm trees. Uh, some people say that it's better to leave the snow on because it's insulating and other people knock it off um, just because you don't want any damage to the leaves by having that much weight on it. So yeah, I'm, I'm in favour of taking it off, giving the plant, plant a chance to survive and getting wet along the way. But the palms, the Trachycarpus palms will be fine. Um, I've got a Tetrapanax. <laughs> I'm using a dead echium um, to protect a Tetrapanax. It'll be root hardy, it'll be fine. Fatsias. Again, fatsias are good too. You know, minus 20 or whatever, but always nice to get the snow off. Miss Canthus gigantus under there, giganteus, and the Arundo Donax across there. No problems with those. Crossing the treacherous bridge. My one surviving echium is under a couple of layers of fleece. I'll leave that and see how that goes. I don't really have much hope for that, but everything else is sort of collapsed and it's doing what it can. Uh, greenhouse, I've got two heaters. I've got a radiator and a, another bar heater in there. Everything's wrapped up, so I don't know. If I can keep that above freezing, I'll be happy. Five degrees um, would be ideal. Here's my uh, yucca. <laughs> it's completely gone, I think. I mean, the uh, yeah, the growth point is definitely dead. There are some side shoots under there. Um, I think it'll be fine from the base. I am just going to cut it back as soon as all the frosts have gone. I am going to cut it back and give it a good chance of uh, re from the base. But there's a nice, big, chunky uh, trunk down there. So we'll see. Euphorbia mellifera. Here's a hardy euphorbia. Um, I mean, it looks alive. Again, we'll see. What other foliage from last year are still left on? Uh, things like the all the um, ferns around there left the foliage on. There's my big gunnera. There's my other uh, cord line that I wrapped up, tied up, bit of fleece on. You know, it is leaning over, but we'll see. Too early to tell we've got a minus six forecast for tonight so this is not even the worst of it um gunnera in the barrel pond is well i mean there's this year's growth there's new growth there that has been definitely been killed off the problem with the, with late frost like i say or late snows or late freezing temperatures is things start to wake up like the gunnera the gunner is already sending out new um, leaves for this year and any late frost will kill them off. There's no point protecting them, I don't think, uh, as long as the rhizome um, is protected. 
I don't really mind too much about losing a few leaves from the gunner. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, barrel pond. Not exactly frozen, not totally frozen. Um, the frogs and newts will be waking up shortly and using that, so we'll see how that goes. Camera ops humilis. This one is fine. You can see down there the new growth is green. However, I have got a little bit of spear pull on this tiny camera ops here. Oh, just, yeah, you can't see there, but I have had to remove some of the new growth because it has been damaged by the frost. Um, anything else to look at? Formium, no, Formium is bulletproof, so no problems there. Anyway, I've got to get to work. That is a quick run through of the Great Northern Exotic Garden with its first substantial snowfall of the year and hopefully the last because I would like to get onto spring, please. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content. We'll see you next time.